This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and I got an interesting question from a viewer in Santa Monica, California. They sent me this lock from Extra Space Storage, and having seen me exploit various holes in lock casings before, asked if they should be concerned about the holes in the back. And the short answer is no, not at all. This is a stainless steel lock intended for outdoor use, and as such, it's likely to get water inside from rain. The referenced holes are placed such that the water can drain out regardless of the lock's orientation. That's crucial to the longevity of the lock and also to ensure that water doesn't freeze inside, which would render it inoperable. What you should be more concerned about is the mediocre core. I've certainly seen worse on storage units before, but this is probably not going to stop someone with a basic knowledge of picking. To open this up, I'm going to use my covert companion with the new Turning Tool Expansion Pack. These of course are available over on CovertInstruments.com. I'm going to be using the 40 thousandths thick turning tool and the standard hook. We're going to put this turning tool in the bottom of the keyway. Okay, one is binding. Nice click there. Click out of two. Little click on three. Click out of four and nothing on five. We have a bit of a false set. Nothing on one, two. Okay, three is binding. Little counter rotation. I think we got three set. Number four, little counter rotation. And we got this open. Okay, folks, as you saw, this really doesn't provide much in the way of pick resistance, though I will acknowledge that with the two security pins that I felt, it does seem like they put in at least some effort, which is better than some. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.